So I got a cease and desist letter um, emailed to me from the lawyers of 5150 Energy Drink today um, to stop defamation. Well, I am not going to stop advocating on behalf of my peers and raising my voice for peers. This is not defamation. Society, the final frontier. These are the activists that boldly go where no neuroatypical has gone before. This is Eve from QuirkyBirdWords.wordpress.com and I'm here today to t tell you about my story of becoming disabled with mental illness and my journey to recovery. This is Eve over at AmericanBadassAdvocates.org and I want to share some amazing news with you today. We have a new... Good morning, this is Eve with American Badass Activist, bolder and badder than ever. Uh... Organization, and we are focused on campaigns, projects, and other initiatives to support the neurodiversity civil rights movement. So, what were those campaigns, and what did those look like? Let me show you. A locally produced energy drink gets the nod from energy lovers, but mental health advocates call it offensive. The company is based in Atwater, and while the drink promises to pick up your energy, some say the name is nothing but a put down. The National Alliance on Mental Illness say many companies don't recognize their products and marketing can be insensitive. On its Twitter page, 5150 received some criticism over its name and motto, Live the Madness. This tweet reads, you can't live the madness unless you're the real 5150. Mental illness is not a joke. An administrative One in 17 live with a severe mental illness, and I'm that one. And I'm Eve Henson, and Suicide I, ideation. And he says, why? And he looks at me, and he is disgusted. 
well, why? And I'm like, and I'm so shocked. And all of a sudden I'm ashamed. And all of a sudden I'm like, my safe place to talk to my doctor. What the hell? You're supposed to help me. You know? A lot of things that we go through, you know, and stigma is so high. And so I'm just starting to speak out about this. Ever eat a cop stone it before? Mm -hmm. are dropping in energy during calls 5150 following an outcry from the mental health community. A popular energy drink will soon be off the shelves of one of the largest grocery store chains in the state. Most of the drink, it's about its name. As FM 89's Ezra David Romero reports, local activists say the products send the wrong message about mental health stigma. Eve Henson had a flare-up with post-traumatic stress disorder brought on by childhood sexual abuse. To work through it, she took a walk near her North Fresno apartment, but about halfway through the walk, something else aggravated her. Which was the driver comes across the street, and on the side of it, I saw the name of this energy drink, 5150, and I knew immediately it was based off the police code, and it really pissed me off. Henson says the energy drink 5150 devalues the serious nature of a 5150 police call. First responders use the code when someone is a danger to others or themselves as a result of a mental health disorder or are gravely disabled. The 5150 energy drink... What do we drink, see on the can here, Rhonda? It is the California legal code for someone who is a danger to themselves or to others. Oh, so they're still marketing under 5150. campaign to get the company to change the product's name using the hashtag the real 5150. Hira says his energy drink is all about throwing caution to the wind, taking risks and chasing your dreams. His dream, racing cars. So I decided in 2007 to create a brand. Gracia, the CEO of 5150 says his company name was inspired by a career change, but a local mental health expert is calling it a poor marketing choice, and now some are demanding the drinks come off the show. Unity. The director of Kern County Mental Health says he was shocked to hear about the drink. It's just stunned to me because um, you're equating one of the worst uh, episodes of many people's lives being involuntarily detained due to a psychiatric condition and then you're labeling that on a drink. Our sale of the product was never intended to diminish the seriousness of mental illness. We have made the decision to discontinue this product in our stores.